Hello everybody, Dr. Rick Wallace here dropping in on you. I hope everybody is having an unbelievable start to your week. As for me, I'm off and running, I'm moving along. I wanted to do this video a lot earlier in the day, uh, but a lot of things kind of jumped off. I had a couple of fires I had to put out with a couple of clients who were in crisis. So it kind of <clears throat> pushed me back a little bit. But I don't want to leave the office today without sharing this with you. I think this is a very powerful uh, thing to drop on uh, on Tuesday's tips for success. Uh, and so I'm going to share this with you before I do. Do not forget, whatever you do, do not forget that we are doing the final offering for Rapid Change Breakthrough uh, Sessions. Uh, something that I started over a year ago uh, for the purpose of offering those who could not afford to go one-on-one -on -one with me to still have a chance to sit down in a one-on-one -on -one environment for a total of three sessions. Now, my normal rapid change sessions are one session and they're $350. I'm offering these three sessions for $150 and I guarantee you if you have a clear idea of what it is you want to do in your life we will get you started we will get you headed in the right direction we will get you in a position where you have a firm grip on where you're headed there's no magic potion there's no incantation that you can speak this is about simply understanding the process and applying yourself in a way that produces results that you can simply consistently repeat and grow in uh, I'm excited about it this is going to be the last time that we offer this because I simply do not have the capacity to take on volume um, uh, volume uh, type situations any longer uh, with what we're doing with growing and evolving the company but I wanted to do this one last time because I love working with people and so again uh, if you haven't the link is in there now let's talk about the illusion of failure let's talk about the illusion of failure. you hear the word failure all the time and one thing that I had to really learn in growing up uh, as I moved into the world of psychology to understand how I was going to effectively make an impact on this world uh, being an athlete as a, as, a, as a kid, the one thing I heard over and over again is failure is not an option. Failure is not an option. So it was grilled in me that failure is not an option, but the truth is you fail. You fail. When you're in the gym, you're going to fail. If you don't fail in the gym, you haven't really truly gave it everything you have. When you reach the point of muscle fatigue and you can't go on alone, that's failure. That means you tried to do something and you couldn't complete it. You're going to have these times where you go out and you set out to win. The, the illusion in life that has so many people paralyzed is the idea that you can only either win or lose. That the only alternative in life is winning and losing. If you lose, you fail. No. See, when you focus on either one and give either one too much gravity you create a weakness within yourself if you focus on winning all the time you create a weakness that that is better known as the fear of losing and while you want to have an aversion to losing you don't want to give it so much gravity that when you do you don't know how to recover from it you don't know how to overcome it you don't know how to process it you've got to see losing the same way that you see you got to see winning the same way you see losing you got to see it as an opportunity to learn. When I win, I learn from win winning. I learn what I did right, what to repeat. When I lose, I learn, okay, this is not the best way to do it. I'm going to have to work on this. I, I'm not really as good in this as I thought I was. I, I'm going to evolve. And so this that's this illusion that if I don't win, I fail. No, see, failure, if you pay attention to failure, failure is really in its true state a, a, a notion of finality. Meaning that when you fail, you that's it. It's it's set, it's written in stone. There's nothing else after it. You failed. See, as long as you're living, you can never really truly fail. Because see, failure is final. But if you're living, then there's no finality. The story continues. 
So what you have to learn is whether I am winning or losing, I'm learning. See, when you're learning, now you're in the middle and the center of the equation. When you're learning, you're now growing, you're becoming. And here's what I can tell you. When you learn to, to learn from your losses, you lose less. That's how you get to success. By learning whether you win or lose from the experience. Life is about growth. That's where tr true success manifests itself in growth and out of growth. You manifest success by growing, but you also manifest success through the growth. So in essence, if you look at it, you have to truly have an understanding, a, a, a true uh, perspicacity, so to speak, or understanding of the idea and notion of learning above all. Learning has to be the transcendent idea of what you're doing and who you are and how you exist. Because see, if you start to measure yourself against the notion of winning or losing, you start to lose sight of the things that are most important in the sense of character. It, it becomes winning at all costs. It becomes looking down and judging those who you perceive to be losers instead of being a catalyst in their process of growth that turns them into predominant winners. See, it isn't about winning or losing, it's about growing. And as you grow, you lose less. As you learn, you lose less. As you learn more, you become more successful. But failure in and of itself is in final, why? Because the story continues. See, what you didn't succeed in today you get to wake up and write a new narrative tomorrow. You get to write a new narrative with a better understanding of what took place today. So you get up and you get to say, look, I did this and I probably shouldn't have done that. I did that. And so you get up and you say, I had a marriage that didn't work, but what can I learn from it? I need to spend more time focused and centered in my home and less time hanging with the boys. I need to spend more time focusing on being able to listen to what my wife is saying, or if you are female, what my husband is saying. I have to learn how to step back and let the marriage move front and center. And that's just with marriage. This, this works with anything in your life. You have to learn how to learn from failing to succeed so that failure doesn't become a reality in your life. Why? Because the story continues. Look, uh, I hope that this blesses you. I'm not going to stay before you long. I want this to kind of sit there. Remember, if you're still breathing, you're still in the fight. If you're still breathing, the story continues. As I always say, I live my life on full so that when I die, I die on E. And that's the thing I'm challenging you to do right now. Write a legacy with the life that you live that's so powerful that it speaks of you long after you're gone. That's what it should be about. Don't forget... If you haven't signed up for the Rapid uh, rapid uh, Change Breakthrough, this is the last time we're going to be doing it. It's an unbelievable value. Uh, I love working, so we're going to go get it. Whatever it is you're talking about, we're going to get something out of it. We're going to make some things happen. So definitely, let's do this one last ride. Uh, thank you for stopping in. I'm going to check out of here. Have an unbelievable day. And with a little special announcement for those who have followed me for any stretch of time, you know, outside of the businesses that I run, like Myriad Business Solutions, the Visionetics Institute, Odyssey Media Group, I also do a great deal of work inside of the inner city communities uh, in Houston, Dallas and other areas. Uh, I'm asking now as we push a fundraiser that you support what the Odyssey Project is doing in the inner cities, uh, especially with programs like Black Men Lead, which is a rite of passage uh, initiative, and Restoring Ghetto for, Ghetto's Forgotten Daughters, which is a program focused on helping young girls, but boys as well, suffering from childhood sexual abuse, uh, rape, molestation, domestic abuse, uh, absentee fatherhood, and so many other things. Uh, the information will be in the box. Thank you.
emotion made this record hot. From the conceptual perspective, people talk about it. All of the elements.